Hey, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell would you marry Rust? Isn't her family really complicated and annoying? Doesn't she have a lot of baggage? Well, yes. But little does she know, I'm doing something that you all should do when you get married. I'm buying low and selling high. You see, Rust has a lot of potential that not everyone can see. She's a complex, beautiful beast. Rust may be awkward and lumpy, but in five to 10 years, Rust will be the language that all the new programmers, the new grammars, the nougats are going to be after. She will be sought after by all the land princes. Now first, understand that I am a security researcher. I research security. People give me code and I say, this code bad, this code good, this code bad, this code good, and I move on with my day. Now, the reason for literally 70% of the malicious vulnerabilities that hackers use to hack into computers have been because of memory corruption issues. And yeah, the other 30% are because of logic bugs, authentication misimplementation, cryptographic misimplementation, SQL injections, squeal injections, command injections, etc. But 70% are memory corruption. So you might be asking, what is memory corruption? Well, it's when the program lets you corrupt memory. Pretty straightforward. And who is the queen of memory corruption, you might ask? The C programming language. So why is C so dirty and Rust so shiny and pretty? Well, C lets you do whatever you want. C lets you have raw pointer access. C lets you have raw memory access. C lets you have access to the kernel API. C lets you run any functions at any time with any parameters and really doesn't ask any questions until the program gets to a point where it crashes. Malloc from the heap? Sure, why not? Never free it ever? Sure, why not? Create a buffer on the stack that has a static size and then copy a buffer from the user of unknown size into said static size buffer such that we overflow a pointer and give the user the ability to arbitrarily write data anywhere into the program memory space. Oh, let's do it. So what's the solution? How do we stop 70% of these bugs from happening in the C programming language? How do we stop memory corruption from happening entirely? Well, essentially we're left with two options. The first option is to fix C. We can try to fix all of C's problems. We can apply Band-Aid solutions to the language that's been around for 50 years and come up with Band-Aid solutions to fix all these problems. We can make another language called C with classes and add the kitchen sink of every feature that no one asked for to try to Band-Aid solution fix the C programming language and not really accomplish anything, and then somehow still have the same memory corruption problems, or we can try something new. Damn, she's beautiful. Mwah. What does Rust have that C doesn't have? Boom, baby, let me tell you. Rust has a few features that make her rough around the edges, but makes her a good lifetime partner. First, mm, mwah, the borrow checker. The borrow checker is a feature in Rust that gives us control of who owns the variable. By default, variables in Rust are owned, which means that there's a definition of who is responsible for creating and destroying that variable when it goes out of scope. This means that a variable's value can only be owned by one label in the program at a time. By giving that ownership to somebody else, you effectively borrow the value and you can't use it in the original label at the same time. This prevents memory corruption like use after freeze that are a whole class of vulnerabilities that hackers use to hack into boxes. Mwah. Most beautifully, Rust implements a bounds checker on variables so you can't access outside of the bounds of a variable's buffer. The ability to do an arbitrary write what where where you can write anything anywhere and take control of the program is off the table. Now, I've heard this before and I don't wanna hear it. Oh, but what about unsafe Rust? Yeah, I get that unsafe Rust exists. And yes, obviously, if you write unsafe Rust, Rust is going to be unsafe, but unsafe Rust only has its place in the bottom half of the embedded world. So why am I marrying Rust? Why am I making a lifelong commitment to a language that has so many problems? Because in my opinion, Rust is the future of memory safe programming. If we aspire to live in a world where hackers can't do evil, Rust is the way to go. Now Rust may have some issues, her family may have problems, her family may be annoying sometimes, I get that. She may need a facelift here and there, but a world that uses more Rust is a safer world. And I think that's pretty neat. So the question remains, when I marry Rust, will I stop texting C? Will I delete C from my phone and will I slide out of C's DMs? No, not at all. I think the majority of the world still runs on C. C will be around for the foreseeable future, into decades into the future. But if you're a new programmer learning to code, I highly recommend that you take some lessons from the Rust language and spend some time getting familiar with the language that I think will take over in the future. And if you like this video, go learn about C in this other video.